Hey everyone, Rizwan Jigani here and welcome to this Wednesday's video. This is more of a life update video just because of one really cool and sort of intense event that happened in my life and I wanted to sort of reflect on that with you all. I gave my first degree recital towards my master's in fine arts here at Carnegie Mellon on Friday and it was a very hefty, intense program but nonetheless fulfilling and joyful. So I wanted to talk a little bit about that and kind of what I did before the recital and what I did after and all these other things. So my program for the recital was Morka Metamorphosis by Alexi Shore and Oran Elder. It's not on F minor for originally clarinet and piano but now for viola by Brahms. Arpeggioni Sonata by Schubert. Galhonaho for solo viola by Shankar S. Hanloy arranged by yours truly. And This Is Me from The Greatest Showman by Benj Pasek and Justin Paul arranged for viola and piano by me and my colleague and friend Jacob Randall Holmes who performed the piece with me. Before the recital I was constantly working on all these new technique things that my teacher was sort of showing me how to do and how to fix in myself up until the recital and of course I had kind of stopped doing technique drills just to focus on the program and was trying to learn on my technique and sort of perfect my technique as I was learning the repertoire which according to Roberto Diaz is not one of the most conducive things to do. So I just basically worked as much as I could, getting all my runs, getting all my intervals, getting everything that needed to sort of sound good for the program. That way, once the nerves kick in, if I end up making mistakes, they're not horrible, or hopefully I don't make any mistakes. And that was for all the pieces. I made sure I rehearsed enough to know all my entrances with my pianist and know her part. That way I knew how it fits in with mine and vice versa. During the recital, I made sure just to keep a calm head. I had my favorite outfit on and sort of just to keep myself in the zone. And, you know, just keep in mind that, you know, I'm a performer. I love getting on stage and performing and sharing my gift with people. So that was what my main, oh, main idea was. And during the recital, there were some mistakes. There were some crazy sections at times, especially during the Brahms because that piece is a behemoth. And it's just awkward because F minor is not a fun key to play on the viola in general. And then when you think about it, that he wrote it for a different instrument and you're playing it on yours, it can get crazy. The Schubert was a lot of fun. I took that piece with the challenge because there was a lot of technical things I'd never done, especially in the third movement. And those went well, at least for the most part. And I'm very happy with that. And of course the non-classical went fine. The Morka in the beginning had just a few sort of really weird sort of high things I had to worry about, but I did well on those. And I just had to make the piece my own because it was written for a very brilliant violist, David Aaron Carpenter. And so he knows how to make the piece his own. I had to worry about making the piece my own. The non-classical pieces went just fine. And I, you know, played those without any issues. I could play those in my sleep. This Is Me was a fun sort of ending to the show. It was a nice light breath of fresh air after a very hefty program. Immediately after the recital in the reception, my teacher was like, bring your scales, bring your technique books. We got work to do. And that's fine because I'm actually very happy I can dedicate myself to technique building and focusing on becoming a better player. That way when I approach next year's repertoire for my recital, I got it. And I can do other things like focusing on my rap class for orchestra excerpts, orchestra itself, and chamber music. Because I won't lie, I definitely put those on the back burner while preparing for the recital, but now I can divert my energy a little bit more and also focus on things that are important to me. So I wanted to give this video and also just keep in mind that, you know, now I know what to sort of look forward to next year and how much more prepared I probably should be mentally and sort of preparation wise with the viola. I do hope you like this video, just a little bit of a life reflection, life update sort of thing, you know, maybe something you can consider if you're about to give a big recital. Please give me a thumbs up on this video if you like it, subscribe to my channel. If you have not done so, follow me on all my social media. I always harp about that. Do it. And be sure to stay tuned for my upcoming adventures. I have one last video of a specific piece that I want to share with you guys next week. So I do hope you stay tuned for that. Anyway, take care. See you soon. Bye.